Capturing footage from a handheld PC, something like the Steam Deck, is actually kind of inconvenient because generally speaking, they only have one type C port like the Steam Deck does, or like, you know, the Nintendo Switch does. And the problem is if you plug in a capture card into this type C port, now you can no longer charge it and you can no longer plug in peripherals like a keyboard. Uh, there are workarounds, uh, but the workarounds involve usually getting a dock and then it's pretty clunky and you end up having just a big old mess. That's where something like Aver Media's Elite Go comes in, and this looks like just your standard power brick. It doesn't look like much to it, but this actually gives you the ability to not only charge your device, but you can plug in peripherals, an external monitor, and screen record all at the same time without affecting the handheld's performance. That is a very big deal. They've got three different docks that we're going to talk about in this video, but they all serve slightly different purposes, so we'll talk about the differences between them, but we're going to start with the Elite Go. So let me walk you through exactly what's going on here because what we've got is we are recording, we're screen recording the Steam Deck while we get to use an external monitor. And you could think of a lot of reasons why that would be useful. So here's what's going on. Um, it looks messy, but I pulled all the cables out just so that it'd be easier to see what's actually going on because if you hide the cables, it's hard to understand. So this white cable, this right here is the Aver Media box that we're using. Um, Right, and this white cable is going to the Steam Deck, and that is powering the Steam Deck. I'll show you right here. Steam Deck is charging, it's charging at up to 100 watts, so more than enough power for the Steam Deck because it only uses 45 watts. Then we have this HDMI cable plugged in that's going to this monitor right here. So Steam Deck is just going through an HDMI to the monitor. That all is very normal. What Where it gets cool is we then has the, have this other Type-C cable right here, this black one, and this one is running to my laptop over here. And so on the laptop, now we have OBS running and as you can tell we can screen record so what this setup does is it gives you an incredibly portable way I mean this box is absolutely tiny so um, an incredibly portable way to you can screen record for your Steam Deck or switch or laptop or whatever you want and then you can save that footage so you could then stream this if you wanted I mean you could do whatever you want with the footage and all the while it's charging the Steam Deck it's charging my laptop let's see if you can you can see the laptop is charging, fully charged. And uh, and we're, we're getting to use an external monitor so you could plug this into a TV. So this is super convenient in a very small portable package. All right, so check this out. We've got the Aver Media Core Go, and that is right here. And let me just explain what's going on real quick. The whole idea is this, is that you can both charge it's basically a dock. You can use it as a dock. So if you have a handheld PC, you can charge your handheld PC, hook up to a monitor, and have some USB device all at the same time. So here's what's going on with this one. I've got the, this is the GPD Win 4. I've got that hooked up to the uh, Aver Media Box right here using USB Type-C on the top. Then this HDMI cable, that is just going to the monitor. And then the last thing, which is pretty cool, is it's got a USB Type-A port, which you can see right here I've got my keyboard dongle so I have my keyboard plugged in so that check this out you can you got your keyboard so with that one uh, with this one box you can use it as a dock and a power supply and so you can hook up to a monitor so now here let's see if we can get a kill I'm not gonna get a kill. Um, yeah, super convenient. It's super compact and portable, as you can tell. I mean, it's actually, hold up. I've got the perfect thing right here. I just happen to have, this is an Apple 140 watt power supply right here. And as you can tell, Apple's 140 watt power supply, which is just a power supply with one type C port, is bigger than this can supply 100 watts, so a little bit less, but it also is a dock with an HDMI port and a USB type A hub, and it has an extra type C port on the bottom. So you get two type C ports. Super compact, super convenient. Yeah, pretty cool. With this dock, you can see I have this dock and I've got it plugged into, this is the GPD Win 4 2025. Doesn't really matter. You can use it with the Steam Deck. You can use it with, where's my Switch? You can use it with the Switch if you want. Um, works the same with all of them. But anyway, you can hit this button right here 
and now it's recording and you can see I just have a computer plugged in just so that we can see what it's recording and this is what it's recording right here. This cable is going to the PC so that we can see what it's recording but that is not necessary. This cable is an HDMI cable that's just going to the monitor itself. Um, this white cable is power. It's right now it's hooked up to a 65 watt power supply so that I can power both the dock and the uh, GPD Win 4 itself. And this last cable is going to the GPD Win 4. You could also put it right here, but I have it spread out a little bit just so it looks nicer with the whole desk setup. But yeah, this is a super easy and portable way that you could record from a handheld like the GPD or like the Switch or like the uh, Steam Deck. And uh, I'm gonna turn off that recording. And here's what's cool is then this recording is now on. It's on this SD card right here that I have slotted into the side. So it's just recording that all internally. Super convenient, easy way to record your gameplay footage from something like a handheld. Uh, awesome.